Ever tried to lose weight? Then you will be stoked by this latest Aussie scientific discovery. Many people have a complex relationship with food. Some of us eat too much, and some of us, for one reason or another, find it hard to muster up the desire to eat enough. Well, today, Australian scientists working with a team of international researchers believe they may have solved a major piece of the human appetite puzzle. It's all to do with a molecule produced in our intestines called insulin-like peptide number five, which has been discovered to play a key role in telling the brain when we're full and when we need to search for food. It will open a whole bunch of doors to treating people who either have a real inability to eat or who don't really control their appetite all that well. Blocking the amount of this peptide in someone's body could have enormous potential for treating obesity, while increasing the amount could revolutionise the way we treat eating disorders like anorexia. What the, the work shows is that we can now make, we can synthesise this peptide in the laboratory and we can synthesise it in big enough amounts that it's going to make a difference. So, could the discovery pave the way to a future where both obesity and chronic weight loss are easily treatable illnesses? Well, to help us further understand the importance of this discovery, we're talking to obesity researcher Professor John Dixon. John, I mean, have we unlocked the key here? Is this the answer to our obesity epidemic? Oh, I think it might be one of the answers. We've been looking for keys for a long time uh, and uh, we've, ha we've got a lot of hints. We're putting the pieces together and I think we really will have some effective medication soon. Professor, given how fundamental uh, it, food and the ingestion of food every day is, why do we know so little about what creates an appetite? Well, we're learning a lot more, and I think uh, the public perception is we know little. Uh, the, the facts are we've learnt a lot, and we know that it's very, very carefully regulated to keep our weight the same. And that's why it's so difficult to lose weight, and that's why for people who are underweight, it's very difficult to get them to put on weight. Speaking about regulation, how do you regulate to keep this out of the hands of all of those charlatans in the weight loss industry? Well, I think we have to regulate very clearly for effective medications. Uh, no one takes a blood pressure tablet unless they need it, but boy, people will take this no matter if they need it or not. So we're going to have to regulate uh, effective weight loss medications very well. And you just touched on the other side of this too, giving appetite back to those with chronic diseases um, who find it hard for them to eat. Very rare you get that kind of game changer. Well, that's right. Uh, the opposite is very important, particularly those with those chronic disease, those elderly people who are frail, have difficulty getting around, strength is lost in older people. This could be a real game changer just to reverse the process and let them put on weight, particularly muscle. John, uh, let's talk timelines, mate. I'm very keen for this. Uh, I've got a wedding in October. <laughs> <laughs> Should I Sorry. wait? Yeah, no, don't hold your breath. Start, start dieting now. <laughs> Damn it. Seriously though, John, how long are we talking before this could be something that's available to people? Well, interestingly, hormones like this are being tested now and there's a number of them on the way. Uh, in addition, we've got some medications, tablets, that have been approved in the United States that we're waiting for. We're hoping that uh, within the next few years we'll have effective medications that at least allow us to lose 10% of our body weight and keep it off. Oh, sounds like great news, John. Thanks for joining it's us tonight. It's good news. Thank you. Let's hope we keep that research here. Can you imagine what that would be worth to Australia in terms yeah. of the research and development? Mm. Amazing. We do good here. We do good here. Here's another break. See you on the other side.